today I decided I wanted to get Gabrielle Chanel go ahead and just bite the bullet. I know that it's being sold exclusively at some Chanel boutiques, so I figured let me just blog this journey and take you along with me. I actually tried this yesterday. I was in the mall and I smelled it and I was like, okay, let me see how it wears. Let me see if it's full bottle worthy. And I do, I really like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that purchase. So let's go. So I'm here, I just got here. I'm at the Americana Mall in Manhasset. So I don't think they'll allow me to record inside. So I'm gonna end it here and I'll see you in a few. All right. So I'm actually a little disappointed because I came all the way over here and they're not selling it here. So I do know a location that they are selling it and I'm gonna head right on over right now. <laughs> So now we're in Roosevelt Field, this lovely mall, and headed over to the Chanel Boutique, which is fairly new, and hopefully they're selling it. I'd be pissed if they're not. Just got here, store's right here. Really quickly, Gabrielle Chanel is probably one of their most anticipated releases, so I'm excited to go ahead and purchase it. The nose behind this fragrance is Olivia Polge, so I'm a fan. I'm gonna go inside. Of course, I know I can't record, so I'm gonna end the video here and I'll catch you in a few. I left the mall, went home, washed my hair, new hair, that's right, new hair, don't care. And I'm going to try out the perfume right now. So a couple of things that they gave. They gave this neat little uh, guide in gold. How beautiful is that, right? And it talks a little bit about the notes that are in here, which are jasmine, orange blossom, ylang ylang, grass tuberose. This is supposed to be a radiant interpretation of a flower. Specifically, it says, an imaginary flower suspended in an ultra-thin glass bottle designed to draw the eye to its heart where the light shines through. Fancy. It also comes with this little pouch, and now I'm gonna just unbox it and spray it on and wear it through the day. Okay, so here she is. Look at the bottle. Oh, so freaking nice I mean let's be very clear this is something that you would definitely put on top of your dresser you know it'll look super fancy coming out of a bag Chanel just gets it you know what I'm saying with this and the the holder the little pouch that they give you to to keep your perfume in they just get it so I'm actually going to spray it now. They sprayed a little bit on me in Chanel and of course I enjoyed it, every little bit of it. But anyway, on to spraying. Ooh, yes, yes. So the opening is very sweet. Um, it's somewhat reminiscent of Coco Mademoiselle, um, just in the opening. And once it dries down, it is, it dries down into like a soft musk. I have to wear this one a little bit more to get a feel for it, but I definitely am liking it. I definitely am loving it. I'm super excited to have it. I don't know, it just feels like, even though this was like an impulse buy for me, um, I think I'm gonna really like it and I feel like I'm gonna like it into the fall as well So if you tried Gabrielle Chanel make sure to leave a comment down below if you tried it if you want to try it Have you heard good things about it? Is it on your to-do list to buy or at least to sniff out? Let me know down in the comment box below and also let me know what's your favorite Chanel scent I'm very curious Mine is Coco, um, Coco, right? And then would be Coco Mademoiselle. 
I'm really feeling a uh, Coromandel as well, but I just haven't stepped into the purchasing zone for that yet. So I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little um, unboxing reveal. Come with me to purchase. I don't even know what I'll call this video, but. In the meantime, make sure you subscribe if this is your first time here and also turn on the notifications so that you can be notified every time that I post a video on YouTube. I hate that YouTube makes you do this now, but hey, you know, you got to get with the times, okay? Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video, which will probably be a full review of this beauty. I love it. See you in the next one. Bye.